the world is undergoing fundamental structural change uh, with uh, the balance of economic activity uh, moving to emerging market and developing countries as they have a faster growth rate than we're seeing in the rich countries. The world is moving into towns and cities at an extraordinarily rapid rate. Um, essentially, we have about three and a half billion people in towns and cities now, 50% of the world population of a little over seven billion, and we're going to move in the middle of the century to something like six and a half billion, representing around 70% of our population over 9 billion. Just take those two things together. Uh, the infrastructure for those cities is going to be built. It's a change which happens only once in human uh, history, uh, increase in towns and cities on that scale. After that, probably there'll be a bit of plateauing. But this is a period, this next uh, three and a half decades, this next two decades will be particularly important but that urbanisation will require tremendous investment and design and the form of that investment and the form of that design will shape our cities, our energy use, our greenhouse gas emissions, our air pollution for decades to come. And of course the extent to which they shape the greenhouse gas emissions will shape the kind of world we live in for decades to come. The emerging market countries uh, my first point, the rapid growth we're seeing there, they're moving through periods of their uh, economic development where the demand for energy is going to be pretty high, the extra demand for energy is going to be pretty high. So one of the roles of universities is to help business understand these quite extraordinary structural changes that are taking place and their implications uh, for a number of aspects of human activity including the greenhouse gas emissions that cause climate change, including air pollution, including the waste and congestion in our cities, including what might happen to our agriculture, our soils, our forests, our seas and fishes, fisheries as a result of all this. So it is an amazing period of change and it's the job of the universities to help the world and of course including business to understand that. It's also my view the business can help uh, universities a great deal uh, through their own experience. They, Unilever sees palm oil and forests up close. Um, Google invents new ways of um, uh, looking after energy and making energy uh, more efficient. A lot of that goes on very quickly and in ways which universities really need to understand because those are forces changing our world and businesses are very ready to share that kind of understanding uh, not all their patterns maybe but that kind of understanding with universities so it's a two-way street but what's remarkable is how important that is now because of this extraordinary period of rapid change just add one more thought on technologies on this we're seeing three great waves of technological change going on at the same time the digital, which we're quite uh, familiar with. Materials where, you know, you see everything <clears throat> from graphene to new building materials for uh, houses. You see solar panels now, which look much more like the slates in your roof. You're going to see your windows that generate uh, electricity. All these things come about from materials. Um, you know, it, it is quite extraordinary what's taking place. And of course, you've got biotech with a whole set of um, understandings, particularly around genetics and, um, and uh, understanding how that works, how it expresses itself in, in, med in the medical sciences and elsewhere, but including in plant breeding and so on. These three radical changes, big waves of technological change going on at the same time, so I would add that to the extraordinary urbanization and the extraordinary restructuring of the world economy. We live in really special times and it's our duty to help the world understand them in real time and it's actually a very enjoyable academic uh, inquiry that we undergo.